Hey folks, in this Simply Schedule Appointments video, I'm going to show you how to use a wide variety of things, including physical resources, teams, and time buffers. Let's dive right in. First, I want to take a look at some appointment types we have set up. Our website is for massage therapy. And here at the bottom, I have three appointment types, 30 minute, one hour, and 90 minute massages. Let's open one up and see what makes them unique. For one thing, it says it's for massages. Now we're gonna come back to these in just a minute after I show you some other resources. There are two things needed in a massage studio, the rooms and the therapists. So let's go to settings and we will look first at the team. So these will be our massage therapists. And we have Louise, Greg, and Logan. And I'm going to open one up and look at availability. And you'll see that we have chosen just the massages. You may have noticed that you can also rent bikes on this site. But our massage therapists don't care about the bicycle appointment types. We just want them available for the massages. So all three of our team members are connected to the massage appointment types. Now let's go back to settings and look at resources. Now these, we, we have two sets of resources, again, the bikes and the, the therapy rooms. The therapy rooms in this case are all the same. There's five of them and that's it. If you go into one, there's nothing. It's just a room number. Um, you could put in a description of maybe a location, third door on the left, or if you're the kind of place that has themed rooms, you could have the tiki room or whatever. You could put that in the description. So now we have our therapists and we have our rooms. Let me show you how they come together on the appointment types. So we come down here to team members and this is where they're set. Now, right now we have user preference, allow the customer to select a team member. You could do uh, any match a customer with one selected team member or all or anything you want here, but we're going to stick with user preference. And then we're going to go to scheduling options. Now here, you're probably going to want locked time zones because you have a physical location. And you may think people aren't going to get too confused about their time zones, but every time zone has a border, two borders. And there are people that live on both sides of it and they get confused because it's, that's part of life. So use locked so they know which time zone it is. And then we have something here that's very, very important. Appointment buffers. Right now for the 30 minute appointment type, you could choose a 12 o'clock, a 12.30 and a one o'clock because they're each 30 minutes. However, that leaves zero time to clean up and reset the room for the um, client to get dressed, to, I don't know, maybe shower. Who knows? What you need is buffers between the appointments. So before each appointment, there's 20 minutes buffer and after there's 15 minutes. So a quick review and then I'll show you what this looks like on the front end. We have three types. Team members are assigned, user preference for us, scheduling options. I forgot to make this locked, so I'm gonna go down and save. With time buffers. For our settings, we have our team. There's Louise, Greg, and Logan. Each one is connected to the massage appointment types. And then we have those resources, the, the therapy rooms, which right now are all the same, but could be made unique. So let's take a look at the front of the website and see what it looks like to use this. I'm going to go to pages and there's my massage scheduling page. So now I will click and make a new block. and we'll make an appointment booking form. Except right now it's all the different types and we don't want that. So we're going to select a 
appointment types. And this is going to be uh, massages. And I'm going to leave the view at list, but you could make it a grid or two columns, however you like. And we're going to use the default settings from Booking Flow. So that's all there is to embedding this. Um, I'm going to hit save and we will take a look. Choose 30 minute. I choose a team member, Louise. Confirm. I'm going to choose Monday, August 12th. And we'll choose uh, 10 a.m. And put in a name and book this appointment. But now let's go back and take a look. Uh, so we're doing a 30 minute again. And we're going to choose Louise again and confirm selection. And now I cannot choose anything around that 9.30 appointment I made. I think it was 9.30. Maybe it was 10. But regardless, you can see the buffers are working. Now, buffers are also tied to people, which means if I instead chose Greg, then I can still do the 9.30 a.m. appointment. Let's get a different person here. And there we are. So it's important to remember that buffers are tied to people. And uh, just because you schedule a different room or something like that, Louise may still be tied up in the other room. And so you can't, you can't have her until the buffers are cleared. And that is how you set up a scheduling form for physical resources with team members that match and still giving them time buffers to actually be able to do their job properly.